Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial. This one, I'm gonna show you how to face swap or face replace. And in this one, we're gonna have fun and we're gonna use an emoji. And it's using free tool. It's using After Effects and a free plugin called AE Face Tools. What am I talking about? Well, let me show you the original shot here. This is Amber Heard walking through and she's in the courtroom and oh, there she goes. She walks past Johnny Depp and them having some fun. And then I face swapped her out with an angry and a funny emoji. I put the emoji on her face, and now when I hit play, you'll see here, of course, it's going a little slower than I would like, but this is partly running from RAM. But this emoji is swapped right to her head, and uh, yeah, it bobbles and wobbles, and <laughs> it's funny, and it's kind of cute, and it does it, and there it goes. It gets anger right at the end there, and bang. How the hell did I do that? Very easy. Let's just start from scratch, okay? So I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna delete everything except the video. So I'm just gonna delete all of these things. And presto, I've got the video that I wanna use and I've loaded it up and it's in my project panel. Next, I drag and drop it and drop it on the composition, just like that. So I've got a new composition and here we go. I'll just scan through it. There she is walking through. All right, the next step, making sure you're clicked on the video layer here, it's selected. Go ahead and grab the ellipse tool and what we're going to do is we're gonna, just going to draw a mask around her face just like this. So here we go. We've got a mask on her face. You'll see here that it says mask one and it's set to add. The next step is you just want to left click on add and change that to none. That way in a few seconds here we'll be able to see all of her. So we'll see all of the video instead of just her face. Um, all right, we're on our way. Let's keep rolling. The next step here is we're going to go over to the right side here and we're going to open up our tracker panel. For me, it's located right here. If you don't see it, go to Window, make sure there's a check mark beside Tracker, and then that panel will open. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and forward track this mask. So what you wanna do is you wanna click on Analyze, but you just wanna click Track Selected Mask Forward, left click on that, and it is going to do some analysis. In fact, if you look at it, you can already tell that it's just masking her face and it's just basically attaching little pieces, <laughs> digital pieces, so that we're tracking her face. And this is only a short clip of about two and a half seconds, maybe three seconds at the most. Yeah, just like two and a half seconds. This is over two and a half seconds. So it won't take too long, but if you have a slower computer or you've got really, really crazy footage, it could take a few minutes to do this. But for me, it should just take a few seconds. Okay, the mask is about to be finished. Here we go, done. Okay, good stuff. So now we'll just skate back through it and you'll see here that this mask is now basically glued to her face digitally. Now the next step is we wanna go ahead and select a pose. So we wanna do what's called a rest pose. You'll see it right here, but it's very hard to see what's going on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just click on this little selection tool so you can see, although you don't have to do this, I'm just clicking out so you can see what I'm doing. I want a shot where basically her face is looking towards the camera, even though she's not looking at the camera, her face is facing the camera. This The camera is basically straight on. So I'm looking at about, what are we on? Shot 17. Okay, so maybe around this one here, the 17th frame. Okay, now I'm going to left click back on the mask here. Click on mask because you have to have the mask selected in order to do this next part. So the next step is we're going to select set the rest pose. And you're going to see some stuff go on up here in the top here in the effect controls panel. And then once you've left clicked on set rest pose, click on extract and copy face measurements. And then you're also going to see this under the effect controls in a second here. You're going to see face measurements and some face track points. Excellent. Now we're going to use a free plugin for the next part. So I'm going to open it. I've got it open here. It's called Motion Bro. And in particular, I'm going to go ahead and show you it's AE Face Tools and it's the starter pack. The starter pack is currently free, so there's no charge for what I'm showing you how to do here. So we're again, we're in this one here, AE Face Tools starter pack. I'm going to left click on that. And now the next step is we want to go down. You see all these different options and I could show them to you, but the one we want to use right now is Emoji. And when you go to emoji, we have all of these different emojis, depending on which one you like and which one you want to use. I'm going to go all the way down and I'm going to use this. No, not this one. I'm going to use this one, the angry one, this angry one. OK, so when I hover over apply, left click on it and it applies that emoji and it does a pretty damn good job. If I'm being honest, let's hit space bar and see what we got. So there she is. And again, it's a little slow because it's quite uh, an intensive effect. But the, yeah, you know, the little crazy emoji face is pretty good. 
it sort of hovers on her face and it does a pretty good job especially at the end there I like that shot okay but we might want to make a few changes to it so just in case I'm gonna double click on the emoji angry composition I've opened it up and now I'm gonna go click on settings up here at the top and for sphere radius I'm gonna do a couple things one I'm gonna make it a little bigger because I want to really sell the effect so let's go to like 260 so I've increased the size of the emoji which is fun and then the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop down this little triangle here and you're going to see a few options here but one of them is transform and I'm just going to go ahead and change this anchor point so what I'm basically want to do is I want to move the head about a couple pixels to the left so how would I do that that's to the right that's to the left so I just kind of want to center it up and then maybe I want to move it up a bit. All right, something like that. Okay, good enough. Let's go back to preview and let's click play and see what we got now. Yes, we have a very nice shot of this Amber Heard walking through here. It's, I know it's going slow here, but again, I just wanted to show you. And then that's it, guys. We've got this cool face replacement face swap. And then we just want to render this out in post in production. So I would go to something like this, Amber 2, and then bang, I would slide through it. This looks really, really good. Excellent. Export it. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.